Man, I'm. These people on the left are so crazy. It's sort of. It's like. I don't know. It's just people in general nowadays, though. <clears throat> it's like people don't have any type of memory. Uh. Forgetting gigantic events that happened in the past and recently. It's not like that happened like 30 years ago or something. These events could happen like. I don't know, three years ago. Anyway, this one guy is like, I just seen him on X. He posted something uh, talking about how the, the media is light on Trump. Are you kidding me? They've been attacking him nonstop. This is what I wrote. They've been attacking him nonstop since 2015. So much so that we have people on the left trying to literally assassinate him because they think he's Hitler by whatever the media is trying to propaganda the media is trying to like peddle to everybody it's absolutely absurd and it's just like the blatant like, like what it seems like is like there's people that live like in a false reality or like some type of delusional uh, fictitious like Disney distorted reality where it, it's kind of similar in some aspects, but it's like, what are you looking at? And then they come with you and then they gaslight you and they make you think that you're the crazy one because they completely project everything. Like they project everything. Um, and some of these leftists, they come up with some like, some, um, you know, some good facts, but then it's like, when you rebut them, it just totally, like, destroys whatever that's like, and then they just keep going along, like, whatever you said isn't even real, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, like, it's, it's because, like, they can't pivot, they can't stop and, like, have any critical thought about what they were talking, like, dude, maybe I am wrong on that, maybe I should reevaluate that subject, uh, maybe I should be like, yeah, you got me, man, dude. Like seriously, like you got me, dude. Like I, I don't know. That does that. You're right. That does that doesn't make sense. How did that happen? But then they just want to dismiss everything like completely, and 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 then it's it's just so funny because like the people on the the right do the same thing as well. I think that it's just like I think the low attention span. Um, is contributing to this, but I wonder if there are like NPCs in am I in a simulation? Dude, I swear to God, sometimes it feels like I'm in a simulation, man. Sometimes it really feels like I'm in some type of weird simulation that is like it feels like it's hell for me personally, anyway. It's just been like you know, I have okay, I am grateful, okay. Because life can be a thousand trillion times worse than what I have it right now. But that just to totally like say that I don't have it hard at all. And it's just like <clears throat> in some type of aspect. Dude. Dude. I'm tired of struggling. <laughs> I'm tired of being a little dog. I'm tired of being the one with like low. I want to be the like. I want to have influence. I want people to be like, dude, like take, you know, like take me serious. That's what it seems like. It seems like I'm continuously wrote off. Always, like every situation is so weird. Anyway, I don't want to, it's like, I'm complaining. But it just feels like, dude, this, this feels like hell, man. It feels like I'm in hell. It's like, I'm in like, the, like the, the, the guy that had to put the, push the boulder up the hill for eternity. Um, I forgot his name, but he's a Greek king. And that's what it feels like, man. That's what it feels like. It's like constantly. You, for me, it's like battling with uh, patience, man. Patience is like something like I continuously have to battle with. And I'm tired of it. Because like I feel like I've already like won this battle every time. <laughs> and I keep getting tested and bad. It's so weird. It's like... What, what when is like the good stuff gonna come, man? When when do I get to hear people around me like doing good, man? You know what I mean? Instead of like bad things continuously happening, it's like, can we like have good like 
I'm tired of like having to to struggle to and, and like man I feel like I'm constantly adapting dude like all the time um anyway it, <clears throat> and that's how you have to do it if you want to survive you have to constantly adapt and you have to have knowledge you have to learn you know I went up to my uh I could talk trash all I want because fuck that union. Fuck unions. I hate unions. Um, again, the company I work for, cool, man. Like, they're good. They're good. But um, the the union, they're like, what, what's crazy about the union is they're so weak and they had the most pivot. They had the, the most leverage in the last contract and they had just totally shit the bed again like every single time my insurance is pretty much worthless man i can't wait to see what what they're trying to pedal out is it you, are you guys gonna up the insurance to and it's not my company it's it's the insurance company are you guys gonna up the insurance to 15 or twenty thousand dollar deductible this year i mean you might as well i'm gonna cancel that shit fuck that like why would i keep them paying to something that they're not gonna pay anything for it's absurd like you think I'm gonna pay like nine grand? Like, wh what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, <clears throat> I have to pay nine grand when I'm a fucking working class stiff. I, I, I don't even, I make like fucking, I don't even make like 50,000 a year, dude. I'm fucking like poor. I'm like almost like welfare life, dude. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, the people on welfare probably generate as fucking much money as me with their welfare. That's fucking crazy. And I'm over here having to pay taxes and fucking uh, deal with this bullshit. And and the funny thing is, like these banks, they don't want to give out any more loans now. Oh, you don't want to you don't want to help anybody. Oh, you don't want to help out people with like high interest rate credit cards. You don't want to help us out. Even though you get bailed out, that's that's the problem. It's like when it, when is like the working class gonna get bailed out? Could you imagine if like you know those billions went into us, man? Like even even if I had to pay it back, even if I had to pay it back, dude. Like that's cool. It's like a loan to help me with my current situation so I can like breathe for a second you know gather my thoughts after everything that just happened everything that just happened with this high inflation and there's no like like it's seriously it's it's completely ruthless completely ruthless they put all this inflation on us man and and and, and uh wages don't keep up wages never keep up Every place that I worked at um, is blue collar, and yeah, I always start at the bottom. Whatever. Every place I work at is like I don't even know where I'm going with that. I don't know. I, I had a good good train of thought, um, but yeah, it's it's brutal up here, man. And, and and it's like being in the working class. It feels like it's been brutal for a while. Uh, <clears throat> the crazy thing like during like 2020 how i had to keep working it's crazy that these companies um these companies like they don't okay i'm not i'm not talking about my company but like other people it's like they you when they hire you you gotta have to have all this experience or possibly like degrees or whatever. Um, even for like just starting out some places, I guess. That's crazy. Oh, you have to have three years of experience, but it's like, well, how am I supposed to gain experience? Like, dude, can I like, can you give me a tryout, man? Can, <laughs> can, can you see if there's any potential there? No, we just wanna, okay. You just wanna waste my time. Like, the, you know, like, companies since they're like balling out like they need to really uh invest in infrastructure um when it comes to like facilities uh 
Like if you work for our company, man, they should they should they should come and get you, dude. Like you shouldn't even have to, like that should be their transportation because it's, it's like why do I have to pay to go to the to the store? Because it's like I would rather just like them come get me. If I if if that happened, if companies like paid for some kind of service to come get me, I wouldn't have to even have a car. And I hate having, that, that's the whole reason I have a car is because I have to, I have to drive. I have to drive. And I don't want to. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and commute, like, an hour a day. That's cool. As long as somebody else is driving, man. Like, I'll, like, I'll sit on my phone for an hour or whatever and then go do the job for eight to ten hours, whatever I got to do. And then I can just get driven home. I could take a nap. I could, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to drive. I don't want to draw. I fucking hate draw, dude. You know, this, this. Okay, when I was working, here, here's a quick thing, man. When I was working a brutal schedule uh, at a company, this schedule was absolutely brutal. <clears throat> I was working twelve hour shifts, right? You do four twelve hour shifts in a row. Um. So, okay, I do. I I do this week, seven a.m. to seven p.m. Okay, that's cool. But then what happens is like you basically have a day and a half off and um, then you go to uh, to nights for four, four nights in a row. So it, it you go 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I lived an hour away. So like do, driving in the morning after working 12 hours up all night was unsafe oh my god i almost fell asleep a few times uh, at the wheel most times i had to stop at, like pull over and just take a quick nap like just to, i i could not keep my eyes open that sh that was that was great and people do this um people do people have to do that and they need to start taking responsibility for transportation at this point because i can't afford it man i can't afford I, who, who the hell can afford um to have a car because like even if you have like an older car like mine something goes on and it's like oh okay the labor and everything else included it's 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 it that's it's more money than the car's actually worth to fix that problem so like what do i do what do you do or maybe maybe it's only half so like it's half the value but it's like like the whole notion of like I buy a new car and I lose us forty percent of the value as soon as I drive it off the lot. Are you kidding me? How the hell does it lose forty percent of the value? What kind of an investment is that? As soon as I buy this, it loses forty percent of the value. Like what? What? I don't know, man. It's, it's like a scam. The whole the whole car thing is such a scam. I mean, like. I'm at the point with our economy that I don't go nowhere. I don't want to go nowhere. Everything's too much money. So I would just rather just sit at home and watch, play video games, um, you know, and and work on different things, on different projects. Um, but when, when it comes to uh, um, this economy, it's... it's like, I don't want to even date. Like, I don't even want to date anybody. That's another thing. I know, another thing that I just figured out. I just figured this out. Anyway, <clears throat> the whole the dating thing is crazy. Like, I have no desire to date women my own age here. Most of them, like, around my age are single moms. And, like, they're still raising their kids. Some of them have little kids, too. Like, they just had a kid. And, like, do you think I'm going to deal with that? You think I'm going to have... A woman in her forties with like little kids. I'm just gonna like, no. If I was if if I was gonna be in that situation, and this and I was gonna help because I'm helping you out. I'm helping you. I'm gonna go for somebody way younger, man. I want to have like top of the line, like f fresh, uh, young, uh, young woman. Um, you know, I, I want access to young. Like, if I'm gonna do that, if that's a big investment for me, if I'm gonna raise somebody else's kid, 
you're gonna be banging hot. Like, you're gonna be really hot. And if you cheat on me, you're fucked. Like, you're fucked. You're on the street. Um, why would I want to do that for like a, a, a woman that I have to sit here and compete with? That's what I, I don't want to compete. You know, like, like women, the, the average American woman looks at me and they probably think that, um, I'm feminine in some aspects. Sure. And I'm not masculine enough for them, but it's like, dude, you're masculine yourself. Like you, you your whole bit of being masculine and feminist, like, dudes aren't attracted to that. So, like, whatever you think, um, <clears throat> oh, I'll just find, like, a really alpha guy to deal with me. They don't want to deal with you. They'll deal with you for one thing, sure. Sure. When it comes to a relationship, no. Because you are the man of your life. So, there's no, like, for me, I don't want to compete. I don't feel like competing anymore. Like I, I feel, I feel like I've lived this life on extreme hard mode. Every single and it's still, and the good times are coming. They ain't coming, and it's continuously getting harder and harder. Um, I know people have it a thou. I know people have it, but it's like to to sit here and say like whatever I've been through isn't nothing. It's like yes, yes. Having that feeling of people, like, nobody caring about you, like, that's, that's, that's brutal, man. That is brutal. That is brutal. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's really crazy nowadays, and I, I don't know, I, I, I sit here and think, am I in a simulation, and it, is AI already sentient and are they, in, are they the ones in charge? And I'm looking like algorithms and it's so stupid, like algorithms. Oh, you have to do the same thing over and over and over and over again to get seen. Like, this is, this is you, you're doing, the, you have to say like this, you have to make the same type of content. It's so crazy to see people um, doing, doing the same thing, the same like trends. Um, like on, on TikTok or whatever, uh, people upload these to, to X and I see them there, but, um, they're just like doing the same thing, but their clothes have changed and they get so many views and in some aspects it's kind of like, hmm, okay, that's cool. But it's like, for the most part for me, like I see it the first time, it's like, okay, Cool. But then they, they, they continuously like do it all the time. Uh, and I mean, I get it. They're trying to get more, they, they want, uh, they're trying to get more notoriety, but it's like, man, that's the algorithm like should be a more advanced where it, it finds people who are talented or, um, but it doesn't, what it does is it feels like it suppresses people, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I feel like I've done relatively well, uh, f from what I've been through and my stance on everything when it, um, but I think that I have a lot of censors on wherever social media I join, um, but I also think that I'm like not the the most charismatic person, the most intelligent person. Uh, obviously, not the most uh, uh, like the best musician or singer or producer, or whatever. But like for me, I feel like my intelligence is like my awareness. That's my that's my number one intelligence. But it's like. I'm making about myself again. That narcissistic type of. <sighs> yeah, I can't. I can't wait till this election's over. Cannot wait till that election's over. I'm so fed up with it. I'm so fed up. Like, I just want to move on. I want to move on to uh, uh, something else, man. I'm just it's, I've been. I've been heavy into listening to current events for the past 10 years and I'm just tired I'm tired I'm all like 
contented out. At this point, I don't even like. I don't even want to learn anything because I've learned so much. I feel like I feel like I've I've taken in so much content that I'm just kind of like tired. And I need to, I need, I'll come back to it. I just need a vacation. I just need a, like a breather. So like for me, since um, obviously nobody's going to come save me. Obviously some, some high profile MAGA, these MAGA people. They don't help me out. I appreciate the follows, but what does that fucking matter? Like, I still, you know, you could have a billion followers, and uh, if you're limited <laughs> with your reach, it doesn't doesn't matter. You know, it's like whatever. That's why that's why I feel. I feel like I'm limited with my reach, no matter what I do. So it is what it is, um, and nobody. Is gonna, hey, let me, look at this fucking, look at this guy. Hey, maybe I can innovate this song if it's, hey, maybe I can like make this better. Oh, this is cool. I can do a cover of this. Nah, no, 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 nothing. Hey, hey, you wanna come on my uh, podcast? Hmm, hmm. Ah, I don't know. It's cool, man. It's cool. That's why it's like the same people who are like famous is like, it's kind of like I'm over it. it you know what it also seems like? It's kind of weird too. God, this is weird. I'm sitting here paying attention. I'm putting 40 hours a week on X. I'm putting 40 hours a week on X. Man, that's crazy. And... Me not being on it as much, it seems like it's kind of dying down. Uh, me not focusing on it, it kind of seems like things are calming down somewhat. I mean, like when you have Trump, they, he, at least two different times, there could be three where people wanted to hurt him tried to hurt like wanted to if they had the opportunity and, and and some people are saying that there's there could be a fourth but i don't know he that that first one he trump shouldn't be here right now and if trump wasn't here right now i don't think we would i don't know man like would people just vote for nikki haley at that point because jd vance wasn't in and that would be the next in line or or DeSantis, you know, and it's just kind of like, what does it matter? They're all the, like, DeSantis is cool, man. I like DeSantis, but um, some things I don't like, <clears throat> but it, it is what it is. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I, I'm not, I don't agree with everything that everybody says. You know, I kind of think like, the whole like the whole like Vivek Vivek is probably my favorite and um the whole chainsaw uh to different elements of the government I don't know if that's a good idea um now when it comes to leadership yes um you can go ahead and start eliminating these these leaders they're um, um, firing these people, eliminating their jobs. Possibly, you don't. They you don't need their job because you can have possibly AI do it. Um, but like, yeah, these these a lot of these people need to be fired, and um, some of them might need to be prosecuted. I don't know. Uh, the, 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 if the representatives aren't uh, the leading this country and there's another entity leading this country, that's a problem. So um, that needs to be dealt with. Um, and things need to come out. Not everything needs to come out, but like s some things need to come out. If our government did do something to uh, JFK that needs to come out, we need to know that our own government had a, maybe not directly uh, assassinated 
um, JFK, same, same with like Martin Luther King, or <laughs> you can you can even look at like influencers, like musicians and stuff like that. You can look at them as like the ones that died young, that possibly like when they had huge influence, maybe they weren't they weren't going with whatever the establishment wanted them to do. So, so it's like they just kind of like. Oh, well, if they are rock star, they do drugs. How about we just, like, you know, say they overdosed, if something happened, you know, whatever, make it happen. I don't know. Put something extra in there that just totally, like, and then just get rid of the body quick. <laughs> get rid of the body quick without having an autopsy or anything like that. Anyway, um, yeah, we need to know about these types of things. We need to know if we have government officials like censoring Americans on the internet, like on X, <clears throat> um, and they need to be uh, dealt with accordingly. Um, prosecution, investigation, and prosecution. And I think if Trump gets in there, if I was one of these people, I would just like leave. I would leave the country. I wouldn't. I would leave. And it's, you know, that's your best bet. I would say leave. Uh, it, it, you have to think about um, the, the road we're continuously going down. People are like pissed off. They're on the break. They're on the edge, and like, there's no fucks. Most people give. People can't feel empathy for other people because they're struggling so hard. It seems like most people are struggling, even though they don't want to admit it. Even though they try to, they love them put on like a good attitude or whatever. A lot of people are struggling. Um, a lot of people just they don't want to talk about it. They they want to try to be positive. And and for me, like honestly, like I'm a very optimistic person. That's why I get so like when things don't work out the way I think they should. And it gets foiled. It's like, dude, come on, man. Like, seriously, like, what is the pro what is the point of that? Just let that just let it work out. Like, come on. Like, why is there problems here? But like, yeah, it seems like um, pe people are struggling, and, and 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 when our government decides to let people come over here. As if we don't have a border. As if I can just walk over to another country and become a citizen there. As if the people who are waiting in line to come here the right way, you just slapped them in their face. And then you get, you have the audacity to use our funds to, like, give them money. And then, like, you... you what they did to Hawaii, what they did to... Uh, Palestine was it East Palestine and in uh, um, Idaho, the, what they've done in in North Carolina to put this hurricane, what they did uh, with the withdrawal in Afghanistan. Th these are complete debacles, and people forget about this. Is like this is complete mismanagement because you have people who are just put there. Not because, like, they're good at their job or they might do a good job. People, we make mistakes, man. But when you see, like, debacles like this repeatedly with the current administration and you think that we should just, like, look past that and, like, oh, that's normal, that's okay. Like, no, it's not okay. You, like, the whole thing with um these... Uh, the Afghan withdrawal, the whole thing with that is like, dude, you wanted to try to, oh, it was 20 years, that's 20 years, and like, where are they, like, who cares? Like, <laughs> Trump made a deal with the Taliban there, okay? And you, this administration said, nope, we're gonna do this instead. And that's why you have what you had, man, because we went back on our deal. You can't do that. You can't make deals like that, like, with foreign, like, and try to expect peace. You can't, like, move dates. You can't say, okay, like, 
you make a you make a deal with them and then like we change we change leadership and it's like like you're not you're not gonna shoot anybody you're not going to take out you're gonna sit back and you're gonna let us leave we'll leave we'll leave but like they're we can't just leave right now like we can't just up and leave everything like there's we have a lot of uh 86 billion in military like seriously like the whole bombs <clears throat> you have to sh the, the any any mission like you have to use it so like they want to keep manufacturing weapons so, and then they have to keep using them so they want war if, if because we'll just keep if we if they don't use them <clears throat> they just waste away um and, and they're going to have to i've heard like they some of the nuclear some of the nuclear Nuclear bombs need to be decommissioned, I think. I, there's people that don't even know how to work it. I think that we're having... I think things need to be... Um, <clears throat> re innovate. Like, I heard Trump wanted to... Like, Trump said, Trump said, like, I was trying to get rid of all nuclear weapons off of the planet. He was coming out with deals. Think about that. He was trying to get Russia, China, like the big superpowers to give up their nuclear weapons. And and us, obviously. Because it's too powerful. Because, like, climate change. Climate change. Literally, like, you can't live in these spots that they, they explode in for years. And then, like, you have the ash from a nuclear war just going to destroy all the... Like, you want to talk about climate change. These people on the left want to talk about climate change. And they don't... They don't... Like, <clears throat> that's cool, man. Yes, we have climate change. And if, like, we're doing something uh, that is that that is harming the earth, we should try to innovate it and make it better so we're not harming the earth. But carbon dioxide isn't, like, completely bad i think that you have to have like a balance you can't just take all the carbon dioxide out of the air then 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 what happens then <clears throat> then all your plants die because like that's how they live like that's their fuels they break they take in carbon dioxide and they give uh, uh h2o so it's like you can't have too much um and and for me it's just kind of like does it feel like it's getting hotter? I don't know. What it feels like to me is like it's pretty much the same. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's a huge difference f from, um, you know, 10 years ago. I don't know. Where I'm at right now, it doesn't feel much different than it did t like 20 years ago or whatever from, from where I'm at. Um, when it comes to climate, I remember like this whole ozone layer thing that they were peddling and it healed itself. You know, they, they, they made it sound like it's never going to heal and it healed itself. And that's a great thing. Like we shouldn't want to hurt our earth. We should want our earth to be as pristine as possible because it's all we have. It's all we have for now. Mars isn't, you can't, you can't. You can't uh, sustain life on Mars right now without, like, they want to terraform it. Like, how we don't even know how to do that. Um, it'd be nice to try to move it closer to, to the sun. Maybe that will help out if it's closer. But then you, if, even if we could move it closer to the, to the Earth, like, what if it goes too much and it crashes into our planet? Or maybe, maybe, like, something happens and, like, um, it knocks us out of out of the solar system at some like we just like go crazy and, but like if it did like that we would all be dead anyway like i think um but yeah it's 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 just like so crazy like what's happening right now and, and people don't have empathy um the, the big thing another thing i've i thought i've noticed about the dating thing is kind of feels like pointless to get to know anybody um 
Because like you 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 make one mistake. Not even a major mistake. Just say one thing the wrong way. Somebody takes something the wrong way and then you're done. Boom, you're done. You can be talking to this person for a couple of days or whatever and you're thinking about, oh, I want to meet this person. For, for me, like, I would try to meet people, like, real quick, too. Like, when I was when I was dating, like, I wouldn't screw around. Like, I wanted to meet the girl so quick. I wanted to, I wanted to meet her. Um, uh, I wanted to get her out for coffee. I wanted to talk to her. And for now, it's just, I just don't really have the desire to meet any ladies. Um, if that's what they are, <laughs> if that's what they even are, um, if I can even call them ladies, but it's, it, like, <clears throat> what it feels like, it feels like there's an extreme scarcity of, like, viable women that could potentially be, like, somebody that you want to be around. Um, it, it seems like every woman in my reality is unavailable and when i factor in the fact that like no almost zero women that i talk to like there's like probably been like one or two i might have communicated with but they don't talk to, like i could pro like if if she if like there's probably one like if she didn't have a boyfriend um she probably talked to me or whatever you know what I mean? Like, but like they all are in relationships or they think that they're in relationships. Um, like it seems like women constantly want to move up and, and, and they, and they say they want to be in a relationship, but it's like, what? I get it. You, you, you want to be happy, but you can't have the butterflies forever. You can't expect a person to be perfect when it comes to like, always being on point like you like i have to always be i i can't be myself at all i got to i have to always be fake you know i'm 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 listening to the, some of these influencers and, and and they're talking about like oh man you your 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 whole existence is just to suffer what so so then like you're not going to have a woman you're not going to even enjoy like um romantically with her uh sexually i mean that that's not suffering that's enjoyment so you just don't enjoy anything you're just gonna stare at a wall if you're not like being productive doing something 100 percent productive it's so crazy with these these youtubers who 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 try to tell people like how to live like cool man like this is what I think. I think. I think a lot of people were just like given this program where they're they're never gonna they're gonna reach a certain limit to what they can do, and um, that's all they're going to ever achieve. Like they're never they might have potential, but like they're never gonna give a, been be given an opportunity, and that's where I fall in. I, you don't get, you always get looked over. You always get looked over. You always get looked over. And then there's other people that just like, they have a complete abundance of everything. If this things fall into their lap, just good things continuously happen to them. And I understand that when people are like, hey, like you should tr cherish every second of your life. And then, I, and then I'm looking at my life and I'm like, and I look at the back, what I've been through, and I'm like, I don't cherish life. I'm sorry. I wish I did. I wish I did because I'm gonna. If 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 good things started happening to me, you know, and I and I and good things are starting to go my way, but it just seems like I just keep getting dealt bad stuff continuously, and people around me too. That's what, it, it kind of feels. It feels like I'm a plague. It feels like I'm a plague. It feels like I shouldn't even be here, honestly. Um, you know, like I. I think that I'm one of these people that I probably should have passed away a while ago. I think I, um, I think I was meant to sign up for the military and I probably would have passed away. That's what I was always trying to avoid, uh, with that, you know, is 
going into the military because I feel like I wouldn't be here right now. Um, but I want to enjoy life. I want to be able to be like, ah, oh, every breath I take is just, just great. And I, and I appreciate it. And I do, dude, I do appreciate stuff. Cause like I do, like, I, I you know, I, I like being able to take a shower. I like being able to have a, a place to rest my head. Um, I like to have food in my belly. I like that. that. Those are good things. Those are really good things, man. But it's really hard to stay motivated in these days, man. Especially, like, f for me, like, I'm kind of in the same position as, like, the, like a young man. Uh, you really don't have a pot to piss in. Um, nobody values you. But the problem is I'm a lot older. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm in way more debt than, than the youth. Uh, but I do have access to credit. It's kind of kept, kept me afloat through all these years, man. Through all these years. Sucks. But, you know, when, when, when you're trying to, like, survive and... It's hard. I, like, I'm so tired of, like, uh, money. I'm so tired of having to, like, and that's, okay, back, back to the union thing, like, and I, I, I talked to my, my union rep, and I was like, dude, it's so crazy that, like, I can't, I can't learn this other job, because they're not a union job, like, I have to be hired in, uh, I have to be one or the other, and I'm like, dude, that, 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 that limits my education, man, like, for, for where I'm at, they're having a, a AI where, uh, robotic uh, warehouse open up, and this is gonna eliminate some jobs. And and what that does is like, uh, and I was just like, dude, I I want to like, I should be able to diversify my education, uh, and, like be more diverse and. And I'm not because I'm held back by this union. Like, the union is, like, what they do is they hold you back, man. Like, some things are okay, but, like, they like you just get to a point in a union where, like, you're topped out. Like, you, there's no, like, wh what else are you supposed to do? You're topped out. It doesn't matter what you do. You can come to work. And as long as, like, you don't screw up big time, you're good, man. But, like. It, you're not motivated to work harder because you already have topped out pay. Like there's no incentives to work harder. Um, when everyone gets topped out at the same top out, that's communism. That's a form of communism. You know what I mean? Like, let people let people earn more money if they can. Um, so yeah, that's it.